Good evening and welcome to Geekology. I'm David Spooner. And I'm Sven Harvey. And tonight's episode we're going to be doing an overview of uh, the Star Trek official Starships collection. Oh, that's a mouthful. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter how many of these we record. You're still going to call it a mouthful. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. <laughs> I really am. Now, we did the first few and they came out. Yeah. Then, just before the subscription period, we did another review. Um, we're, oh god, nine in now, mm -hmm. so... So we're having a look at six to yeah. nine. Six to nine, and we're also going to cover... Deep Space Nine. The three-month special, mm -hmm. and the free gift you got with the subscription. Which, which we've just had. Okay, now, I've opened mine, and I've had a good look, but... You haven't actually seen these out of the boxes so you saw mine yeah. because you, you were a good boy and you kept all your packaged. Yes. So open them up, have a look. Let's have a look at them quickly and, one at a time. And let's let's see what makes your head go boom. Right. What, what I'll do is I'll, I'll look at mine sort of like in my hand. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. Um, it's nicely detailed. Cling on. Yes. Battle cruiser. Mm -hmm. I thought the colour was a little dark, but yeah. Maybe. I mean, it's difficult it, it's to say. It's hard, really, isn't it? It's hard with colour. Um, but it's a shame it's not Kronos 1, isn't it? It is a shame it's not Kronos 1, but that could be further down the line. Yeah, I mean, Kronos 1 would have um, the burgundy extra colour mm. variants and the bits of gold on one. Yeah, but on the other hand, that as a company, with the mm. ships they're unrolling, yeah. You know, you have to throw some of the more generic ones in. Oh, yeah, absolutely. If you have a big name every, you know, for the first, like, four or five months... Yeah, quite. What happens when you start getting to the tail end of the catalogue? Because people aren't going to go, oh, you know what, they're going to do that one that appeared in that one episode yeah, in the background quite. shot. So... Now, considering know. this is the, the D9 Katinga, Black, Katinga Battle Cruiser mm -hmm. from Star Trek The Motion Picture, that's perfectly... Perfectly fine, mm -hmm. isn't it? It's, it's nothing wrong with it. I like it. Just, it just, it's just a, a little bit of a shame. We you just really version. wanted Chrome off yeah, I know. I know you did. But there we go. That's all right. Okay. Yeah. With that. Now I agree with you on all of that. Mm -hmm. um, I did think it was uh, yeah, the the neck just seems a little bit flimsy. I think yeah, it, it looks flimsy on film. Yeah, to I be swear fair. to God, when it's coming up with the video, they're they're wobbling. Um. <laughs> I tell you, the, the the thing that I really liked about this mm. is look at the torpedo launcher in the front. Yeah, it's got look a how deep around it. That go yeah, but yeah. you can't see. Yeah, they, there's they haven't put a plate in it. No, so it literally just looks, I mean, I'm not stuck a pin in, but I should imagine that goes to about there. <laughs> so you don't have that horrible effect you have on most of them of, here's the plastic cover. Yeah, it's just right. a dark hole that goes through. So I liked this one. Yeah, cool. Um, Voyager? Oh, yes. It's a shame they haven't picked yeah, out some of the lines they should I liked, I liked, I like Voyager as a ship. Yeah. Yeah. They, the, the, art job on this, i.e. the paint. Mm. Yeah, they didn't pick out all the... Uh... Yeah, you know what, I don't actually know what the, those parts of the ship are, because they're not phaser array. It's not part of the phaser array, but it's not part of the standard assembly. But you can see large sections of this where they really could have picked out detail and they just haven't. Mm. Um, and Again, also, I don't like the nacelles. Yeah. Uh, that the blue plastic they used. Um, well, they use it on all of them for the nasals, except for the free gift one because that's got the darker blue. Um, this doesn't work. Are you sure? I'm relatively confident. I, it, I mean, it could just be the way the light hits. Yeah, it, it's probably but because this doesn't have the opportunity to have the lights shine through. No, it. not at all. Um, which kind of makes the use of that plastic a bit pointless. Um, and like the bird of prey, you've got the hole you can't move. Yeah. The, the joint, the joint lines on the back of the nacelles, I thought was was particularly poor. Oh yeah. Yeah. 
that's a Because you didn't see you didn't see the joints for the NATO, you didn't see where it joins onto the body. Yeah. And yeah, you know, I mean my one's got a couple of defects in the the, the paint itself's so actually got a ripple in it. But I'm sure that's this model rather than yeah. all the models. And I think they really missed a point with the main deflector dish because, you know, they could have used the, the blue plastic mm. for the main deflector dish rather than painting it yeah. a different shade of blue to everything else. And the other bit that I was disappointed with was the, the paint job they did around the edging. Yeah. I just thought it was particularly weak. So... Mm. The sensor around a ship, the them. Yeah. The, yeah. A ship I was really looking forward to. Yeah. And mm, no, it, it didn't down. work. Yeah, but I, I feel let down for it because there's a wealth of material mm, available true. for it. And one of the things I, I was really it. hoping that they would do as a future one mm. is I want the, the... They could do a number of different versions of the Voyager. I'd really love to see the Battle Damaged Voyager. Yeah. I'd really like to see the Borg Enhanced Voyager. And I'd really like to see the last one with all the armour that's around it, because that'd just be awesome. I know there's a lot of voyagers. Too many travel irons. Too many travel irons <laughs> for your taste. Okay. <laughs> right, now you're coming on to the Excelsior. The Great Experiment, except it's not the Great Experiment, it's the one after the Great Experiment. <laughs> it's an NCC, isn't it? Not an NX. So. Yes, but the NCC was essentially the same ship they they accept the bridge module and and the warp core yes and but the captain the ex, <laughs> but the exterior of the ship remained the same identical, yeah. identical well ones. except for the, job except for the um bridge module, the bridge module the itself yeah yeah, yeah the so. what i was referring to specifically was the nasals because they took yeah. the the quantum drive out and mm. they put a standard warp drive in and yeah. blah, 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 blah. Actually, I, I must admit, it's one thing I'll give the magazine. They they did a really nice job explaining the the, the bridge module thing. Yeah, that's, that was Which was cool. quite cool. Um, the lower sensor dome isn't painted. That's a little bit of a yep. shame. Uh, have you seen the aft set? Have a, have a look behind the nacelles. Just oh, there. how plain is that? Yeah, they paint. They literally they just painted two grey lines and two black lines. Now Which I know are... that picking out the windows would have been a little tricky. Yeah, that would have been nice. It would have been nice at the back. But windows, but, but that they use a really thick paint. Yeah, really thick paint line. Those are a little bit too yeah. enhanced. And they Whereas haven't painted the nacelles. Nacelle struts. Nacelle struts should have little blue lines. Yeah, not painted them in. It certainly seems that they're picking certain design elements over others and going yeah. for the wrong ones. What well, is you know, yeah, but is is that just our opinion? Because a lot of fans are probably going, Oh, I really want to see this bit and Probably you, you get yeah. it and I mean I, I appreciate that there is a cost element with these. Yeah. You know, there is always going to be an amount of cost. I mean the thing that I I mean the, of all of them, this is the one that I dislike the most. I really hate the nice house. Mm. Um that this blue plastic that they're using for it, just it re for me personally, uh, no, it doesn't work. It really doesn't work. It's it's just yeah. Coloration's wrong. You can see the bits in between. Now I, I realise that see I, the way I would have done it would be the way the model kits. Yeah, have a look at yours, man. Of course. Yeah. The way I would have done it is the way that um, say AMT did it. Yeah. With the, it's, it's is it a perspex they use it or is it the super fine acrylics? I think it's acrylics. The acrylics. Yeah. Neither of us have got a source section on straight. Well, I noticed mine's off a little bit, but it's not. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's so. Oh, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Have another look at the saucer sections. The paint is completely different. Yeah. That, it's too. It has not even like a shade. That's not even like a shade. That's a few shades out. out. You know what I wish I had right now? Mm. That tricorder they did early 2000s on the one that had Good the color spectrometer yeah. on it, yeah. Good God. Let me have another gander at the two together. Okay, now the thing is, 
You can't even argue production run because they couldn't have only made yeah, it like yeah, same run. Same run. They could have made the fact the dishes. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I'm not even the same shape. <laughs> that is terrible. Mm. Yeah, um, they, they're not winning any prizes with that one. No, they're not. Uh, do you, um, yeah, Sven, now mm. I know you like Deep Space Nine. Yes, yeah, so I And not... I know you're very fond of The Defiant. Yes. Remember we want PG rating <laughs> on the video because there's something you're really not going to like on this. And actually, you know what, viewers? This would be a thing at home. If you've got a stopwatch, about now, because I think he's going to get it in under 10 seconds. 8, 7, 6, 5. What the hell? There we go. Yeah. yeah. They've used the same topograph, deck, or whatever on both sides. Yep. So, on the one side, it's the Starfleet arrowheads pointing backwards. Yep. What the? <laughs> and on the front of the magazine, it's perfectly fine. But oh, the, the magazine mod shows it. Yeah, the magazine shows it fine, but the mod. Oh is fine. god! On the on the plus side, they really did a nice job on the nacelles. Yeah. Shame they didn't on the main no. deflector dish. I've got a wobbly deflector dish. Yeah, me too. Well, wobbly front section. Yeah. It's I mean, I know it's. I know that's accurate. That's how it's supposed to be. Because um, that's supposed. I, th I think in one of the early design passes, they were meaning that to be a lifeboat, weren't they? Yes. You know what? I I've got to confess, I didn't read the magazine <laughs> for mm. the Defiant. I seem to recall hearing that at some. I had a quick flip through. It's interesting actually, because there's some uh, very very early design elements that haven't been in any of the books before. Is it? <coughs> yeah, I've never seen them before. You know, funnily enough, I've seen this and this, mm -hmm. but I saw them as runabout. Oh, really? I saw That's them as early runabout. I didn't see them as defiant designs. Okay. Yeah, it was in Visions as a halfway point between a fully fledged starship and a runabout. Yeah. And then they moved on to what we know as the Valiant. And then eventually to the Defiant. Finish the magazine. Magazine's good. Continue looking at your toy before. <laughs> <laughs> Before you skip to the next. Lack of detail on the bottom as well, isn't there? Mm -hmm. Top's alright. Top's nice. You've got all of the um, escape pods and stuff. And then the um, core um, expulsion caps. Although I, I didn't like the colour they used for that. No, it doesn't look... Yeah, well it's supposed to be... It's certainly not supposed to be aquamarine, is it? <sighs> Meh. That's really annoying. If they can make a mistake like that, or is is it a mistake, or is it just laziness? Because that's I'm, I I tell you the right. truth. I'm, I'm gonna bored. go with lazy. I don't think it's an error. I think it's lazy. Well, if it's it is an error because the yeah, it's wrong. Do I want to see yours? Yeah. Look at look at. Um, my nacelles, now look at your nacelles. Much bigger gap on the, yeah. the back end of yours. Ooh, look at the front of the same nacelle on yours. Mm. Yeah. Poor construction seeing, on that one. We're seeing quality issues here, aren't we? Mm hmm. Suddenly going a bit pear shaped for this series, isn't it? Alright, go on then. Let's let's hear what you rip into the D. Because as we all know, you love the D. I don't I like the D, I love Next Gen, I'm not the massive fan of the Galaxy Clash. I thought you liked the Galaxy Clash as a as a series of ships. I prefer Constitution Reefers. Everybody prefers Constitution Refit. Which reminds me, you have seen the images of, of to Toby's Constitution Refit for Phase 2, haven't you? I love Toby's work, he's absolutely brilliant. Have, have you seen his, his, his halfway between Classic Trek and the motion picture? Yeah. It's Phase it is, 2, it's it is gorgeous. Amazing. It's like, I, it's become my favourite. Really? Yeah. 
I'm surprised. Mainly that. because of the detail on it and the fact that when you get close up shots, even it's little things like the um, photon tor this, the round photon torpedo tubes at the front of the neck. It's just. Wow. Mm. Oh god. Yeah. Why is there a circular bit at the front of that phaser cannon? Yeah. That shouldn't be there, it's flat. This. You know, we did a whole episode on how to dock these. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, that cannon has just been stuck onto a normal D and they haven't changed the details underneath it. No. That. Not, not, a, not only the cannon, look at the top. Those, those. Phasers assembly and uh, the yeah. back engineering section. The impulse manifold at the back of. Just under the, the third nacelle. Um, yeah. It literally looks like it's just been well, glued on. They have just glued on extra bits to the D, haven't they? Essentially. Essentially. Yeah. And it looks. Ugh. But the argument is it's a free toy. Yeah. yeah. Quite. No, sorry, free gift. Free gift. See, I always. Do we call these toys or do we call them models? They're models. They're not, they're not suitable for kids, so definitely not. Well, toys. They, they say, what is it? Um, not suitable for under 30. Is it 13 or 14? Oh, I can notice it's on the back of your DS9 box. 14. 14. So, yeah. That's, although that's although they the do legal, call them vehicles. Right. That's the legal definition of a toy. It's got to be suitable for an under 14 year old. So, yes, they're, they're models. Mm -hmm. Legally speaking, in the UK. That See, yellow's wrong, I was, isn't it? Yeah, the yellow's wrong. And why, why have we got detail here and not on the lines there? Don't ask me. Ugh, the wrong way. Um, and, yeah. and, cool, don't do that. <laughs> a, you're going to scratch your magazine up, because these things do scratch. Mm. And B, uh, that's, that's not a good way of treating it. Mm. I, I've got yeah. to confess, I was very disappointed that they didn't do a new model that yeah. they've, they've obviously added Just on added to the D. Yeah. How did they do it for the actual episode? Because they... Was it... Did they change... Was it the four-foot model they changed into the... They, they refitted one of the models. models. I'm not sure which model, but they refitted one of the models. Well, they weren't models. going to touch the RM one, were they? <laughs> I think by that point it was already hanging up over the, the top of the kitchen in one of the... It was in Dying the diner. Road, yeah. <laughs> 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 Imagine all the years of grease built up on that. Then. I don't have to. I saw the video footage. It's hideous. Right, the S9. Now this, for those people who subscribed and subscribed to the specials, is there's one of these every three months. Mm -hmm. um, they said every three months. Is that? Yes. Because this is available in the shops. This this can be bought in the shops now. Yeah, but it's more expensive in yeah. the shops than the, if you pre-order. I've not actually seen this on sale in the shops, anyway, have you? No. No. Now, I am not the world's biggest fan of Tarek mm. Uh But I've got to say, I like it. Yeah. I think it's... Yeah, it, for, for the extra cost, yeah, I've got no issue with that. The um, thing I dislike about this, no base. Yeah. There's no base. Now, to be, to, to, to be in a situation where you're going to have to display it like that. Yeah, and then you've got ships next to it like this. Mm. It's not wrong. Yeah. I mean, don't start. get me wrong, I know for a fact, yeah, that you... you, you pff, you can't do scales mm. with starships. No. Because you do scales with starships, you're going to end up with, with things you've got to pick up with tweezers. Yeah. And then things you've got, you know, you can't do it. Then, But it having no base mm. means that it looks different to the rest of the range. It should have yeah. had a little clear plastic spike that it sat on. And, and then and a black angle, metal base. Ideally. Yeah, oh yeah, that would have been... Mm, just a little bit of an angle, not a massive one. I'm not sure actually. I, I personally think I like it sitting flat. No, fair enough. Um, but that might be for two reasons. The Playmate toy version had the, the big chunky grey base that it sat mm. on. And Hallmark Christmas tree ornament. Yeah. They um, put a little extension foot on the base of 
one of the no dock point. imports and then the other one had a, quite a big chunk out of it because it had the two wires so that when it plugged into the base it lit up and did the, the sound effects. Fair enough. Uh, so I'm probably thinking... Because that's the thing with, with these. You break one, you've got to buy another one because yeah. you're not going to have a complete set. And I I now you've known me by a couple of the model kits. Mm. I've only ever done the snap together ones because I'm useless at the, the, the paint jobs. I don't yeah. have the time, I don't have the patience. And apart from anything else, my OCD kicks in and I no, no. I must admit I've got the AMT model kit of this, the one that's one to 2500 scale. That's beautiful. So it matches in with the one 2500 scale ships. Yeah. The Cadet series as they're now sold as. Mm -hmm. I've got the fibre optic one with a little drill. Ooh. I'm just thinking that's going to drive me up the yeah, wall. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> going to drive me crazy. But as I now you see this, I like this. Mm. I'm not. I'm still not convinced the colour's quite right. I think it's a little too. Think I. I from what I remember of what the original filming model colouring was, mm. which is it's a sort of like off tan colour, isn't it? Um, maybe this is a little bit <laughs> too close to grey, or am I being affected by Playmates and, and stuff? I'm not Actually, sure. Actually, probably been more affected by the Franklin Mint one because I know you see yeah. that one quite regularly. Dude, look at my <laughs> just there. <laughs> Klingons have been aboard. Yeah, yeah. You've knackered one of your docking ports. Yeah, or... yeah he's got battle damage already. Yeah. Um, I don't like the red they used for the underneath of the it's station. Not bright enough, it's is not it? bright enough. That is meant to be a really vibrant. Because that's a processing plan for ore. Yeah, that's it's be meant to be bright. pretty bright, and that really isn't. I mean, I understand that the red on the. Um, yeah, that's right. But that's that, right. That but the be... red there isn't. No, quite. That's I'm putting that down. That's lazy. That's that's just. That should be different colour yeah. from the other bits. Um, it's nice they picked out all of the the porthole lights on the night on the uh, on the central on the core. underneath yes yeah. yeah that is really nicely done and then not on the top but they have done on the inner yeah they have nice. done on the inner but not the exterior but that's fair enough so I quite yeah, like overall this. that's not bad no I like there's it. part of me that wishes it was double the price and the same and in scale with the Enterprise D oh god no oh, but then dude. where would people put it this collection's already starting to take up room. Yeah, cool. Uh, you start doing that. And the, the thing that I was disappointed on mm. with this model is purely I wanted a base to be yeah. the same so that they all fitted in. But um, I think it might have been you uh, who originally said that you saw the artwork for the cube. Yeah. And the cube doesn't have a base either, does no. it? No. So, like it. And a lot of people, I don't know how people have got hold of it already, but some people are referring to it as a table lamp. It's oh, actually, okay. it's like a plastic table lamp. Yeah. What, like the money box? Probably. I or, liked the money box, I found that the D went in and the D came out. We'll, we'll, we'll find out in about two months time when yeah. we get ours on yeah. the subscription. But um, that's, I mean, it's not bad. I'm, 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 very disappointed it hasn't got a, a, a base just to protect the bottom of it. Yeah. If nothing else. I know a lot of people have said, well, we'll make it too tall. Um, no. No, because look. That's something. It, yeah. It's fine. Um, it just, it just, even if it rose it up five millimetres yeah. and, and protected it. That to tell you the truth, whilst protecting it, it's, it's a thing. I'm, I'm more for the look. I would have yeah. preferred it because. It doesn't look like it belongs in the same range yeah. because it's got the base. It and then if we get something like Starbase, uh, Earth Starbase, the mushroom, <gasps> how the much? You have no idea. It's just going to fall over. You have no idea how much I want one yeah. of these to be that mushroom. You yeah. know, uh, you know. I, I'm going to say you know for a fact, but we, we obviously don't. But I reckon the next one's going to be. Bringing K7, it's always K7. Whenever they do it, bleeding starbase, it's K7. One thing I must, <laughs> I I I must moan about is the fact that they, it's a space station yeah. that's known for somewhere that ships dock. Yeah. Why am I got a ship on it? Because it's the Starship's K7. 
collection, it doesn't have one as part of its thing. It, it, this is a standalone unit. Know, a ship attached to it wouldn't you, would not be... Would you have objected to having a runabout on one of the pads? Oh, that would have been really small. Yeah, but it would have given you the sense of scale. Because as it is, yeah, anybody who doesn't nice. know back at Star Trek inside out, back to front and upside down, isn't going to realise this isn't in scale with any of the other ships. My thing you want to bend. Oh, no. Um, yeah, but then you're going to have a trouble with, if they, if they, for argument's sake, did Utopia Planitia, well, yeah. you're gonna, you want a half done Enterprise in there? Well, what's the point of, of, of the space dock if there's nothing docked in it? Yeah, but this is it. It's yeah. meant to be a model of just the thing, yeah. the other, yeah, I now, I, I, don't get me wrong, I totally see what you're getting, a little Enterprise D would have been, actually it wouldn't have been that little, would it, it have been that big. yeah, um, an Enterprise D would run about something, maybe, or what I would have said is a base, mm. and any ship, any in ship. scale with it, Defiant would have been ideal, yeah, but they've released the Defiant. They can't the then time. release a little tiny Defiant. Well, I mean, just, just with it as part of, as part of the Deep Space Nine. Just mm. to show the scale of the, of, of, of the station off. Of the yeah. Bit, just to, to really ground in quite how big this station was. On the other hand, most of this is metal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The cost. We've got, we yeah. got... You see, the thing is, I've got to admit, the further we get down this line, the more and more we can rip these things apart. Yeah. Um, but considering this is under 20 quid. Yeah. So See, yeah, really yeah, that was that was the point I was going to make. I don't know why yeah. my brain just went and new. Yeah, we can rip these things apart. You know what it is? I hit rip these things apart and my brain was going, do it, do it, do it. You know you want to do it. Yeah. But the honest truth is, I don't. I don't really want to rip them apart purely because... There still isn't anything. That there, is, good. there is nothing that's good. Um, and whilst... I have, yeah, I'm, I'm not, ha I'm really not happy with the Voyager. Mm. Uh, there were bits about the Excelsior I really disliked. The Defiant, yeah, that sticker been the wrong way around. Really, mm. I, I say sticker, the paint, decal, whatever you want to call it, yeah, that's annoying. To tell you the truth, I could live with that sticker being the wrong way around. Voyager just looks cheap and nasty. Mm. Of all of them they have released, and this is including this one with the glue on bits, mm. the paint job is still better on that than it is on that. Yeah. None of them look as bad as the Voyager. And I know that I'm a Voyager fan, so obviously yeah. I'm going to go, woohoo, Voyager. But I'm a collector, and the collector in me says that's tap. Mm. So for me, that's the weakest one they've released thus far. Yeah. Between that one and the Excelsior, uh, less impressed with them. Because to begin with, I was yay. Now I'm just sort of going yay. Mm. They're yeah. you know they're they're dropping down the points yeah, it's, chart. It's, you know, if, if there was a, a graph, then then yeah, it's, it's doing this, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I'll be it. See, I'm, I'm going to use your line. Doctor Voyager did this and then went back. Yeah, I'm going to be. I'm going to use your line. I'll be interested to see what they do in the next few issues. Yeah. It will be a case of uh, the next few issues. Is it making you think again? What about my subscription on the whole? Um, no, but my it's lowered my expectations. Yeah. It has lowered my expectations. Happy with the DS9 yeah. for the money, for, for the, the um, three monthly. Disappointed that they don't say what the next one is. Yeah. I would have liked to have known what I'm also quite be. annoyed because mm. you got notification as a you got a, a, something through the post didn't you to tell you when you were going to get charged for the yeah I got a, a one sheet through yeah. with the, with the picture didn't. of the ship and you didn't no I didn't get any notification of it or whether or not I wanted to cancel it or anything like that because you were told you have to cancel it by what was it the 8th of November if you didn't want it that was on the printed sheet yeah. not on the phone call message when I spoke to them originally yeah but yeah. I didn't get that sheet at all so I had no notification of when they were going to charge me that's bizarre. You should that's have had a notification. That's bad customer care. Yeah. Bad. Well, no. It, well, to tell you the truth, I 
Uh, what, why am I? I'm using that phrase a lot recently. Do you tell you? You know what it is? It's coming up to Christmas, and people lie at Christmas. Yeah. Um, I wasn't. That, I thought it was a nice touch that they'd sent it out. Yeah. Because I thought it was just saying, "Whoo, it's going to be DS9." At which point I was like, "I already knew this." Yeah. Um, I didn't really think of it as a cancellation. I suppose that is why they sent it through. So you yeah. could go, "Whoa, I don't want my Starship collection. Yeah. I want ships, right. not stations." <laughs> Yeah, because we know what one of the other specials are, don't we? Do we? Yes. Okay, th this Wii is limited to you then, because I don't. What's the other special? JJ Enterprise. The JJ is going to be... Uh, special, yeah. Which means it's going to be bigger, bigger than these. I would imagine so, unless they've got the sense to do it as the same Oh, size. that's a bad call, Ripley. That's yeah. a bad call. Why? Why is that the Enterprise? I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's basically listed on some of the listings on the Facebook page and in yeah. other places it's, it's basically down as being a special. So That's a horrible idea because they're going to make it bigger. Mm. If they do, I'm just going to If they make it bigger, then it's not going to fit in with the rest of my yeah. ships. I don't mm. mind stations, but yeah, station can be a different size. Yeah. That's fine. So I'd say there's about four different scales there. Four different scales? I, I see five. Well, you could kind of argue the Katinka class and the Voyager being an Intrepid class, because the Intrepid class is a roughly the same size as the Constitution class. Ooh. Maybe those are similar. Yeah, but... okay, you know what? Uh, I would have to check the specs, because yeah. oh, I, I, I'm not a rain man. I, I cannot be. <laughs> but within a bit, yeah, okay, you are right. Cause Actually, the do you Voyager... think the Excelsior and the Galaxy class are about the same scale? No. Are you sure? Yes. Whenever no. we saw the massively, massively out. Because when you saw the, the Enterprise D and the Lakota, and no, not the Lakota, the Hood. Yeah. No. 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 Okay. no definitely. Yeah. They they would argue screenshots and camera yeah, perspective. Yeah. No, there, there's a massive size difference. Absolutely. So. Well. So you're you're thinking maybe your subscriptions. It's 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 looking shaky. To be honest with you, mm. I'm, I'm not sure I'm, I'm, I'm still as convinced as I was because I'm, I'm being quite disappointed by this, this last few. Okay. And I mean, the, the Katinga class, that's just personal preference, that's fair enough. Um, the Excelsior, I'm not hugely worried about the ship, to be fair. If it was the Enterprise B and it had all these issues, I'd be miffed. You see, but no, no, this is. For me, one of the points, as I said to you about Voyager, I'm a Voyager fan, blah, 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 but no, what you're a fan of should not be part of this argument, uh, not argument, discussion, part of this mm. discussion. The discussion is the quality of the model, yeah. and my argument is that's, this, this particular model isn't is poor. The yeah. fact that it was one I individually was quite excited about yeah. is kind of beside the point. Yeah, it cool. doesn't I, mean, I, I, I don't I, I certainly don't think that the three nacelle the enterprise, the Voyager and the Excelsior are anywhere near in the same class of quality as the Enterprise D and the A were. The A was nice, yeah. Um, but to be fair, I would single this one out and, and I'll tell you, let's pop that one to one side because yeah. We're both happy with that. Yeah. And either one of us went, I'm That's not happy fine. with this. Yeah. So, um, and technically, we have to take that one out of it as well. Because anyway. it's a well, uh, Free. freebie. Yeah. yeah. Bunny rabbit ears. Okay, so we've taken those out. Yeah. So now we're judging it on these three, because this is what technically we pay for. Yeah. Um, error. Yeah. And, and poorly constructed in your case. Yeah, My case is not brilliant, but yours is. I'm actually just... contemplating ripping the saucer section off and repositioning it. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's not even just the saucer section, it's the neck as well. Yeah. Define, sticker, that's, these arrows. Yeah, that, that yeah. stick, that, 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 that really, decal, yeah. that's really annoying. Just bad. Yeah, that's just bad. And, and do you know what? Sitting on, in this lab, because yeah, I don't really see it so much because they yeah. just sit on the shelf. But, but now I have it under a harsher light, look at the join between the uh, main saucer section. Well, it's not a main saucer section. Between the saucer section and the secondary engineering hall. drive, secondary hull, whatever you wish to call See, it's easier yeah. to say on the other starships. Actually, can, can the Voyager separate? No. 
No, so yeah, it's not even a separate section then, technically. Um, well, it, it, it could separate as in you could literally go along and uncouple it, but not yeah, like you can with, with say... Well, no, no, not even the D. You could do it with the um, 1701. You could do it with yeah. the original Enterprise. They, they said about... Actually, they said about uncoupling the Night South and uncoupling the Saucer section. Cool. You know, that, that was a nifty shit. They come up with good ideas in the original <laughs> series. But no, yeah, all the starships. It's just not right. I it? mean, if you could even argue you can do it on the Defiant because of that yeah, forward because section. Yeah, because section doesn't work yeah. Although, you know, you never ever got to see the captain's uh, yacht being launched. Or on any of them. On, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's one of those things. We'll put it on for the fans, but yeah, we never actually saw sure. it. Okay, so we need to uh, wrap this discussion up. Is there anything you specifically want to mention about them? Mm. Oh, I've got one niggle. I don't think so. Go I've on. got one niggle, which um, I, I've got to mention it because it's part of the set. Hmm. The magazines, which I view as, as being good quality, yes, the nice, you know, the, Still I'm not, not arguing with the, I've got to admit, I only, uh, the, the only one I actually read through recently was, was the uh, Excelsior one, mm. I haven't got around to reading the others, purely because, yeah, I, I know it, there's going to be some pretty pictures, I was waiting until there was a, a decent amount of them and I could yeah. sit down and really enjoy, because if I read them as I go, I'm not really going to, you know, if I sit down, I can yeah, really, really enjoy, enjoy it properly, yeah. um, but I've been putting mine in the folder, yeah, have you been putting yours in the folder? Not quite yet, no. Ooh, ooh. The teeth yeah. scratch the pages oh, lovely. when you're feeding them through. And it's not just when you're putting them in. If you try looking through them whilst they're in the folder, you damage the magazine. Right, so you cancel have, the folders. You actually have to, to unhook it. We're cancelling the folders. <laughs> I'm not cancelling my folder just yet. Yeah. Because I want to see what they're doing with the next folder. If the next folder is the same artwork as the first folder, I'm cancelling it. Mm. I will cancel that because for the money, for for what it is, yeah. no, I'm not. I'm not that bothered about having the folder. Yeah. Unless especially because they're, especially if they're damaging the the, the, the magazines. Because I always I always thought that was one of the sad things about the fact files. Mm. All the folders were the same. Yeah. You just stuck the stickers on. Yeah. To, to indicate which, I mean, from a production point of view, I totally get what yeah. they did it, it was just a shame. Yeah. I mean, going back to one of the things we said when we first looked at the folder, actually, is it, when I was surprised it wasn't the, the metal yeah. bar all the way down. If it was the metal bar all the way down, we wouldn't be having this discussion. I don't know, these are really high glass, I think, you know, you might have ended up with fleck lines going through it. Mm. And yeah. not. But saying that, you can't use a ring binder. No, because I haven't got holes punched through. You could lose. You could lose. No, should we try the word use? You could yeah. use sleeves, pocketed sleeves. Yeah. But uh, how much is that going to cost them to do? Mm. So you know, it, 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 at the end of the day, I can see it from their perspective. They're a business. They're there to make money. This is a good way of making money. On the yeah. other hand, you annoy the fans. They're not going to spend the money on the item. I've so. just got a feeling a lot. I mean, I've started seeing collections up to date coming on eBay. Yeah. So I'm just wondering if people are, can are starting to cancel the subscriptions a few, because It's funny it's... you should say that. A f I've been watching a few of them just to see what, yeah. what they're going for. Um, and yeah, the people have... And the really weird thing is, the very first run of these on eBay mm. is still going for a decent amount of money with the, yeah. the reissues. Not so much. Mm. And there was a big flare around about issue three for issue one. Yeah. Which has now died back down to being, you know, it's it's one of those it it's tricky. Yeah. So then, but but the thing is no I wouldn't I would not say to anybody, subscribe to this mm. if you were thinking of making money off it in any way, shape no, or form. Because there's gonna be one or two ships that everybody wants. Yeah. And lots that nobody wants. And wants. lots that nobody wants. The the reason I got it was pretty much the same reason you got it. Lots of interesting ships that they've actually done models yeah, exactly. for, and I thought it'd be a nice little thing to add to my collection. Now, next month, our next two look like they're going to be well, the Borg Sphere, Borg Sphere, and the Reliant. Now, the Borg Sphere that's going to be pretty hard to mess up because yeah. the molding for these is, is pretty good and it's round, yeah. so I can't. Re I mean, it's got lots of mottle in there, I suppose it depends how many layers into it go, but the yeah. artwork looks 
fairly straightforward for that Quite. one. Quite. My worry yeah. is the Reliant. Ah, now you see, you know, we already you said know as we go about ships that we really like. like yeah. There aren't many fans out there that don't like the Reliant. Yeah, and I've got a, and like we said in the last video we did about these, that's a test ship, isn't it? That's one yeah. where if they mess that up. Yeah. Actually, do you know, funnily enough, um, when I saw the Reliant, I thought, I wonder how long before Sven says about the Ambassador class. Hmm. Yeah, I, I did sort of think, and, and you know, I had a really worrying thing that they'd use part of the model <laughs> for the D to make it. I was, I'm having visions of... That'd be so wrong, because there's it. nothing the same on it. Because, but, but people always assume that it is. Yeah. Well, no. And it isn't, but it's, it's, not it's a really single part that's the same. Mm -hmm. So, um, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm now following the Excelsior, I'm now concerned about the Enterprise B. I have concerns about... You think they're just going to literally change the name of the bridge module on it? And put the flanges on. Yeah, yeah I think they're just going to stick bits onto that model. You see, originally, oh, yeah, but I mean, but then again, that is a freebie. Yeah. That, 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 it's, it's a hard thing. I'm concerned about the Enterprise B. I'm concerned about the Enterprise C, if they try and use anything from the D model to make that up. Cause it, it's got to be a completely different... It's got to be a, com it's a completely different... different yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's no a different mould, so yeah. I can't see them no trying to rehash. They can't rehash one of the other mm. moulds because it's a completely different model. Yeah. So. And, um... Okay, right. Well, if there's nothing else you want to add... Just subscribe, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Thank Twitter. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.